Alright, so I made this program to model the collisions of several pool balls on a pool table. Now this first, uh, this right here sets up graphs and we'll come to that later. Uh, first we're gonna go over the, uh, the rest of the code and then we're gonna run the program and see what happens. Um, the next part here uh, is just setting up a button that we can use to pause and play the the animation that we're gonna get. Uh, then we and right here we have the initial momentum and angle of the cue ball, and then we define all five balls here. Where we have one cue ball and then four other balls, regular balls, and then we have the walls right here, and it sets up four green rectangles to act as the, the bumpers, I guess, for the, the pool table. And this is modeled using uh, basically Hooke's Law, so Hooke's Law to model the collisions of the balls so that they don't just pass through each other. So we have a uh, value for K uh, and, and all that and then we have the time which will start at zero now we go into the while loop which is actually starts the animation um, then these are the the forces between each uh, each of the balls and then the last one is the force between a ball and the wall so these are the the ball collider statements, it's what sets up the, the actual collision uh, where when the balls get too close to each other um, which is it's set up to be the radius of the balls so when essentially when the balls touch they a force vector is created and then down here that force vector is added or subtracted to the to the well it's a momentum vector I suppose so that's added or subtracted to the ball's uh, initial or current momentum if the balls aren't next to each other it just updates the time by 0 0.009 um, and then that's what increases the time step. Then down here we have uh, the actual graphs of the momentum for balls one through five. So let's run it. it takes a little while to load. So you can see we have our five balls here. When we hit our cue ball. Wow, look at look at that. Wow. I don't think the wall collisions the wall collisions aren't right because I they I don't think they would come back directly at an angle like that. But everything else seems to be working pretty cool. Even the ball even actually kinda goes through the hole there the way I set it up and then it just takes off. Uh, let's reload it and then take a look at the graph. So you can see that all the balls except for ball one, which is in blue, uh, start off with zero momentum. Then when ball one hits ball two, it transfers some of its momentum to ball two. Then ball two hits ball three. And it transfers some of this momentum to ball three. And apparently ball four is the same color as ball three. <laughs> and you can see the, the trend here. That the momentum of the balls is getting smaller and smaller until the fifth ball leaves the the pool table
and it just blows up like this. And the best the best way to fix that would be either to get rid of those gaps, but then that's the holes to like simulate the it actually being a pool table, or you could put put some kind of constriction on it that the ball once it crosses that area just disappears to to simulate it going into the hole because if you're on, a, on an actual pool table once the ball's in the hole it, it stops it's, it's done so that's uh, my program and what I'm thinking uh, would be cool to add is if you would be able to calculate make make like a program that you could place the balls anywhere in the pool table and then calculate the angle that you'd have to hit the first one to be able to hit all five. I'm not entirely sure how you'd do that, but that would be pretty cool.